Warmer temps mean it's time to pull out the grills. And in the spirit of a large Mexican holiday coming up, KX News' Kiara Brown has a recipe that combines fresh ingredients and authentic flavors for this week's Cooking with KX. Hello everyone and welcome back to another Cooking with KX. With Cinco de Mayo just a few days away, I thought I'd make a delicious, flavorful, and festive Mexican dish. Today I'm making fresh elote, but in dip form. And if you don't know what elote is, it's grilled corn on the cob with spices and cream all over it. Only this recipe calls for the corn off the cob. This way you can eat it with chips, stuff it in some tacos, or even just eat a spoonful like I do. So let's get grilling first and let's jump right in. Here are all of the ingredients you'll need. You'll need eight cobs of corn husked and then head out to the grill. Place them on the open flame, rotating ever so often to get them nice and charred on all sides. Then back into the house, slice the corn off the cob, getting small and large chunks. Then in a bowl, add the grilled corn, a cup of red diced onions, and a handful of chopped cilantro. Mix that all together. Then add two tablespoons of butter, two teaspoons of chives, and a teaspoon of paprika and cumin. Top it off with the juice of one lime, and a couple tablespoons of sour cream. The final touch that makes everything come together is six ounces of crumbled feta cheese. Mix everything together really well and let the ingredients marinate together in the fridge for at least 30 minutes, then serve. This is perfect as a dip or a great topping for homemade tacos. Happy Cinco de Mayo, everyone. Chips, that whole bowl will disappear in about 20 minutes, depending on how many people you have in the kitchen. And for step-by-step -step instructions and an ingredient list on how to make it, and for Kiara's other recipes, just go to kxnet.com, where you'll find the Cooking with KX link under the Community tab. 